Wow, Wally here. Guys, I got the Honda. I got that Oregon line again. I got a huge garden. Knee high wet grass, guys. And I'm tempting fate here because the last time I did a strimming video on this garden, I bust my strimmer, okay? But this is the new Honda, so let's get this done. I went, here's, here's a little tip, right? I'm gonna do some tips, tips and tricks. When I'm strimming, right? So I went down and I strimmed everything this way. When I was coming back up, I strimmed everything this way. So that means now I have a pretty much a line of grass. When I come to collect it, it's gonna be easier to collect instead of just having it all over the place, okay? Now the thing is that this grass is really, it's quite wet, okay? It's very, very thick. Okay, so you know, it's, it's, it's average length is about a foot long. I'd say some of it was longer. So I might have to change it up a little bit. I might have to change my technique. Okay, instead of putting two rows into one line, I might just have to do one line and then step over and do one line and step over and do one line. It does mean that you have an extra line, but it just means that it's easier for the brush cutter to to do its work, basically. Okay. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to strip across this way and I'm going to put, put the, the, the long grass, the clippings or whatever you want to call them, I'm going to put them in the ditch because uh, this garden they like to keep a wildlife barrier down along the sides, look, which is pretty cool. So they keep the long grass and stuff like that along the sides. Now, the only thing is that you have to come back to the start to start again because I'm going to strim this row of grass that way. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope so. I think once I get this line done, because this is the heaviest stuff, I'll be able to go up and down the garden again, which Feels faster. <laughs> It's really warm now. <laughs> I'm taking this off and getting a drink. Okay, so let's look at the difference. Let's look at the difference, right? So behind me, there's two sort of rows. So I'm gonna row here, I'm gonna row over here, okay? Here. It's just sort of all over the place. Uh, so, I like this way better, I think. I like this way, I like keeping it all together in these two lanes because you know you are, I am gonna to have to clear it up by hand, so 
Uh, or, or I might just use the backpack blower and blow it all into the ditch. <laughs> okay, I've come to a patch, it's really long, right? So what I'm gonna do, this is generally, if you find a patch like this, you gotta watch out for dog poo, okay? But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shorten my swing, okay? So instead of swinging full R, okay? I'm only just gonna go short, push it out to the side, and then do it twice, okay? Now my cable's a little bit worn down for this, which is which is sort of better. Uh, because if I, if I if I put the full length of the cable out, what's gonna happen is the, it's gonna slow the motor down a bit. Trimming, brush cutting. It's a marathon. It's not a race, right? Or not a sprint. So you gotta go easy on your machine and go easy on your staff. Alright, so if you like I'm trimming on a slope here, so if I went back and forward across this slope, right, it's gonna affect my hips on one side and it's gonna hurt my knee on one side and stuff like that. So change it up. Okay, change it up. You wanna you wanna get the most out of it and make it easier on yourself, guys. Tense up your stomach muscles, your abs, okay, and your back muscles, and your uh, and your ass, okay, and that because they're the strongest muscles in your body, uh, and they'll t do most of the work, and you'll get a workout at the same time. I am finished. Four hours. Two batteries for the camera. <laughs> Maybe five five tanks of fuel. I don't know, I wasn't really counting. And one line change. Guys. warm <laughs> that's it guys thanks for watching stay frosty <laughs>